Hi everybody, this is Cosmo and Vanguard, I'm Dempster and with me here is... Um... <sighs> Looks like I'm all by myself again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the clan booster for Bermuda Triangle. As you can see here at the front. Okay, so the name, the title of this booster is Shukufuku no Utahime. In English, it is called Blessing of Divas. Just a, just a quick note, um, for those of you who have been following Bermuda Triangle, you realize that every single one of their boosters um, have the word Divas in it. So starting from EBO2, we had um, Banquet of Divas, and after that Divas Duet, and then um, Academy of Divas, and now finally Blessing of Divas. So, <clears throat> so the front cover here, as you can see, this is Loris, which will be the GR for this um, with this set. So let's take a look at around at the sides. So at the side here, we've got some of the information. So it says here we've got one GR, which will be Loris, as well as um, five different types of uh, Triple R. 7 double R's, 14 rares, and 18 types of commons. In addition to that, we have new things here, which is the WSP, which stands for Wedding SP, which is the wedding art version of the SP of certain units in here, 13 types of them in total. SGR, Secret G Rare, which is only one. It kind of obvious what it is. <laughs> and, and of course, normal SPs, which there are a total of 13 types. So, um, from what I know, this uh, this this whole set um, in one carton, there's a total of five reprints for um, Olivia in rare foil. So if you're lucky, you get one carton, and then you you have five uh, Olivias, four of which you can play, uh, but one you can sell it out for like you know, ten thousand yen or something like that. I don't know. By the way. Rejoice, people! We don't need to chase or kill for for the GR anymore. <laughs> so yeah, so um, let's take a look at the other side. The other side here. Um, so we have some of the units that are displayed, that are featured in the set. So starting from the left, this is um, this is uh, I can't remember full name, but this is Reindeer, and I believe this is Vert, as well as Coral and Pacifica. Woo! Okay, that was a mouthful. So the front, yes, um, it says, yeah, Venga G, 5th anniversary, and um, this contains uh, a clan card uh, of one of the 13 different kinds of uh, wedding SPs. So, if you get it, cool, good for you. Collect them all, 13 in total. So other information like the barcode and such and all. So like the previous clan boosters, this one has a total of 7 cards in each pack. Uh, and there are, I can't remember how many packs are there in total, 12? I, I don't remember. But um, two of which inside are confirmed R and above. So without further ado, let's just open it up. I'll just open one box first, so this one goes out of the way. Alright, so opening up, the first thing we'll see is the clan card. Over here I got, um, uh, <laughs> what's her name? Lady, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we'll get to it if we do get her. And uh, at the back, it's the pink color. Bermuda Triangle Clan card. So it's in purple. I don't know why it's not in blue. Um, the clan symbol, you know, whatever, you know. This is pretty cool. And then, of course, we have the card list. So if you want to keep track of what cards you want to get, uh, what cards you're missing out, this is good for you. After that, I'll just go to the wiki page. <laughs> not sponsored, by the way, not sponsored. <laughs> Alright, and then uh, we have a sample deck recipe that you can try it out to own your opponent with. I believe this one is for Harmony, right? Uh, uh, it doesn't really... Yeah, I think so. I'm not too sure, but you, you, can, you can give it a try if you have all the cards that you need and uh, just have fun with it. And of course, the difficulty of the clan, uh, 3 out of 5 stars, etc, etc, you know, Harmony and all, Speaker comes, uh, becomes a grade 3 now, Loris, grade 4, etc. And more deck profiles, more deck recipes that you can try out. So I'll leave this one to you guys, so uh, in the meantime, just get out of the way. Alright, so this is the pack itself. It's got Loris on the front, it's really nice, really beautiful. And uh, she looks like Honoka for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making all these kind of references, but uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> oh, I just realized there's something written on top of the logo, uh, of the logo, which, uh, let me read it. Uh, <laughs> I 
I hate to say this, but I'm not exactly too sure what it says, but it's something like uh, some sort of a blessing to you. I'm not too sure what Tobikiri means, but some sort of blessing to you. So be blessed if you get a GR, <laughs> because it's damn rare. Alright, so at the back you have um, some of the information, like uh, it's already in, uh, illustr illustrated on the box itself. So blah 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 blah. So I've got two boxes today, all by myself. So that means if I open up and I get anything cool, it's all mine for the taking. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so um, let's do this. Am I gonna do another Diva Magic again? Yeah, why not? So one, two, three, yeah! Okay, I just fucked up the thing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's open it up. Toby Kitty, no shukufuku, shukufuku, anatani! I got a Jira in the very first pack! Holy sh! Okay, no swearing, but holy crap! Okay, that was a first. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's carry on. Oh, yay, we got Leona. Hand in hand with Loris. Awesome. Oh wow, coral. Okay, this is pretty cool. That means there is no more triple R's already, I think. Oh yeah, this is one more. But I won't be able to get a wedding SP in that case. Which is sad, really. So this is one box, but um, for the sake of this video, I guess I shall open the second one. So commons and rares will have to go while the stage will be set for the double R's and above. So let's carry on. Oh, before that. I got a wedding, wedding vert, wedding vert clan card. So that's pretty cool. Okay, with that out of the way, where's my other one? Oh, there we go. With that out of the way, let's carry on. <laughs> Guess what? I finally got a wedding SP! Holy sh! I need to stop saying that word. Holy crap! <laughs> Alright, this will go here. I'll explain more later. Okay, so this is two boxes worth of G, uh, GCB03 and as you can see, uh, I got pretty lucky with the first two pulls uh, and of course I got one point. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, but the points don't matter anymore because there's nothing left to exchange. So anyway, um, there are a few duplicates here and there, but um, we're going to go through every single one of them in detail, what they do and etc, etc. So alright, um, 
let's start with the very first one that I got, literally. So this one's, um, let's see, her name is Celebrate Voice, Celebrate Voice Loris. So she's the GR for this, um, this, this set and she's a strike now so of course she has the first harmony skill and her X skill is a 1 per turn skill GB2, counter blast 1 and turn 1 G unit face up so uh, choose up to the same number of rear guards on your field as the number of face up cards in the G zone return them to hand and during that turn this unit gets the auto skill when this unit attacks a vanguard uh, if your units are all in harmony state Choose up to three of your uh, th choose up to three of your your rear guard, your units during that turn plus five k, and this unit gets one critical. So she's very similar to her original um, GB two skill in a, a grid three form, except this is more um, this is more reliant on harmony itself because previously um, harmony works well both offensively and defensively, but this one just just goes out all full on offensive, and uh, it's not specific to just choosing rear guards. You can also choose her to add the 5k so this is very very offensive right now which is good because um back then when i played uh when i played the original um uh harmony deck with not much uh not much boost just from that cb01 and a fighters collection uh there were there weren't really much um finishers uh that i i have against my opponents like say for example the only two cards i have with a double critical is loris and olivia so Olivia, I've, I've only managed to find like two of it, so it's very hard for me to play one full set, and that kind of you know levels down my aggressiveness um, in terms of that. So anyway, let's move on to the next one, <laughs> the, the the only WSP that I got, which is pretty darn cool. <laughs> so her name is um, Prism Image Sunshine Vert. So she's the first strike that has a limit break for uh, a limit break skill as well. So her skill is limit break. Uh, flip one prism image sunshine vert face up and choose three of three cards from your hand and drop it So when this at the end of the battle that this unit attacks a vanguard if you have a prism heart card You may pay the cost if you do uh, choose up to two of your rear guards with prism in their names bounce back, bounce them back to hand uh, then put this unit to the G zone face up and Choose your grid what oh Choose a grade 3 prism card from your hand and write it as stand. So this is like a pseudo pseudo restanding vanguard thing, which is pretty cool because it, it ties in with her previous um her previous form, uh, the normal vert with which also does restanding in some sort of sense as a limit break skill as well. So that's pretty cool to see that all these new all these uh, familiar units are getting new um uh, new boosts with similar but yet updated abilities, which is pretty cool. So the next one we have is hand to hand. Sorry, hand in hand, Leona. This is this is what Leon be like with his girl. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> so I saw she's a G Guardian. Um, so when this unit, her skill is when this unit appears on a Guardian circle, choose up to one of your rear guards. Oh, sorry, choose up to choose one of your rear guards, and you may return it back to your hand. If you do, choose one card from your hand, call it to a Guardian circle, and the unit called with. Um, oh, and if the unit that's called with this effect is the same as the card that is returned from this effect, something like that, during a battle, this unit, that unit plus 5k shield. So she doesn't really plus 5k to herself, but rather the card that you bounce back and call. So, um, I mean, you can have multiple copies of the same card in your hand, you bounce back one and you call another one out, it's okay, it doesn't really matter. The what matters is that um, you can bounce back and then you call for extra, say, 10k to 15k guard, uh, 15k extra shield, which is very defensive as well. So you might want to play this in addition to Naja, which is the previous G Guardian back in F uh, FC 2016. So next, we have a card that's also very familiar. So her name is Frontier Master, right? No, Frontier Star Coral. Sorry, my bad. Frontier Star Coral. Anyway, her skill is um, it's an auto skill, counter blast one and turn up one G unit face up. So when this unit attacks, a, uh, when this unit attacks, no, it doesn't have to be the Vanguard. You may pay the cost. If you do so, charge one. Uh, choose. Uh, let's see. Choose a card from your soul. 
with coral in its is it no anata no rear guard or soul no coral or fukumu card or oh okay okay choose up to the same number of rear guards as the number of corals you have in your soul and return them back to hand then for every card returned back this way during that turn this unit plus 5k and if you have more if you have two frontier star corals in your g-zone face up or more draw one and choose up to two cards from your hand and call them to separate rear guard circles so um <laughs> I'll be honest, I have never actually played Coral before because um, when I first started Bermuda Triangle, it's with the first clan booster. So old cards like Coral, Vern and things like that, I wouldn't know uh, I wouldn't know because I haven't played them yet unless I read them up. But uh, I would believe that this is very good for um, field reinforcement and things like that as well as um, soul charging. I believe, um, I believe there's something to do with um, the number of cards in your soul. I mean, it's not like Pale Moon, but... Some, something along those lines. I don't know where I'm going anyway. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the others, which I won't be as familiar, but still familiar nonetheless. I don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, this is... Um, Bless... What? Bless Teji. Is it? I can't really see it because it's very small. Bless Teji Steya. Setia. Okay, I don't know full name, but Setia is her name. Um, of course, she has the Harmony skill. And her X skill, uh, Vanguard Rearguard, Counter Blast 1, and choose up to one, or choose one of your rear guards with Harmony in the skill tag, uh, in Harmony, sorry, sorry, let me rephrase that. Counter Blast 1 and choose one of your other rear guards with Harmony, uh, choose one of your rear guards with Harmony in, in Harmony state and rest it. So during that turn, this unit plus 5k and the GB1 rearguard skill, when this, at the end, uh, if this unit's attack hits a Vanguard, so charge 1, counter charge 1, and choose another of your rear guards. And return it back to hand. Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> I need a, I need to brush up my Japanese here. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Next, we have a double on grid three. Her name is um, brand new. Oh, brand new prism garnet. So this is back with a, a, a new prism, I guess. Anyway, uh, her skill is is a limit break four. Her skill is when this unit attacks a vanguard, um, choose up to. Choose up to three cards in your hand with Prism in its uh, with Prism in its name. Call them to separate rear guard circles. If you call three this way during that battle, this unit gets the ultimate break ability. This unit's drive check plus one, so it gets a triple drive in uh, instead. So which is which is interesting because not many um, not many units focus on adding drive checks. So her other skill is Counter Blast 1 Prism card. It's a special Counter Blast. Um, when this unit return, uh, goes to your hand from the rear guard circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose uh, uh, choose one of your units during that turn plus 5k. So she's good as a rear guard as well as a vanguard. It really depends on how you play it. So uh, it's pretty cool for a backup uh, vanguard. But do know this is only for Prism. So unless you're playing a Prism deck, I would suggest you don't play this in the deck. It's kind of suicidal if you ask me. <laughs> Alright, next we have uh, This is a uh, PG Miracle Twin Tail Whiz Whiz I don't know Miracle Twin Tail Whiz <laughs> Weird She has a Twin Tail apparently Alright, so uh, her, her standard PG um, PG skill Which is only for Vanguards uh, And uh, her other skill is Harmony, that's one And another is Choose up to one. Uh, choose uh, choose one card from your hand and and discard it. So at the end of each, at the end of a turn, it doesn't have to be yours or your opponent's. Any turn, uh, if this unit is in harmony, you may pay the cost. If you do, return this back to your hand. So this is a good. Um, it's an interesting take on uh, on PGs with abilities that allow you to bounce back to your hand. So <laughs> the last card we have here is. Brilliant Ocean Eddie. <laughs> so her name is Brilliant Ocean Eddie. No, I don't want to be saved. Uh, get it? Get it? <laughs> Alright, anyway. So her skill, of course, she has a harmony skill. And her GB1 continuous rearguard skill. If this unit is in harmony, um, for every card, for every sentinel in your drop zone, this unit plus 2k. Wow, that's interesting. I've never honestly seen a card that deals with sentinels. So she gets stronger the more PGs you use, apparently. So, and her other skill is when this unit appears on a guardian circle, um, if you have a 
If you have a Sentinel in your drop zone, you may pay the cost, which is Soul Plus 1. If you do during the battle, this unit plus 5k shield. So this is a very, very interesting and very defensive card, I must say. Um, coupled with things like Hand in Hand, Leona, and other things like that, and even the, the and even uh, Wiz, Wise, I don't know, but... Uh, it, she plays along with the fact that you must have a least, at least one Sentinel in your drop zone to in order to kick things up. So she's really very interesting. I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen a card that's like that. Uh, and uh, from what I realized, because this is not um, her, her continuous GB1 skill is not restricted to either your turn or your opponent's turn, so it can be activated anytime. So for example, if you have if you have Pumo in your head in your deck in your hand and you use to guard it, and you can you can call one unit to the same column as Eddie and she herself will get extra 2k which makes her hard to hit as well um, so that's really very interesting so we've seen a lot of interesting boosts for this uh, this whole set I'm honestly very hyped up because I've got four more boxes downstairs waiting for me um, no, no, it's not just for me lah, so <laughs> it's for it's for Cap and Halim as well so um, so yeah, I'm very interested, I'm very intrigued as to what other cards will appear and what I can use to upgrade my deck even more. So uh, who knows, maybe in the future you'll see another another, uh, another Bermuda matchup with all these cards that are in uh, and that are boosted. And the good thing is Loris doesn't require uh, a, a same copy, so you can play her, you can play just one of her and all hell will break loose. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate that I didn't get uh, I didn't get Olivia in this box, but anyway, one point, <laughs> whatever. So anyway, that is all for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you like more of this, please give us a lots of likes, lots and lots and lots of likes. Especially if you're into Bermuda, uh, Bermuda Triangle, I'm pretty sure this is for you. Um, so uh, do subscribe to us for more card fights and all cross more, more cross more vengas, more shenanigans from us like this, and lots of random, random unfunny jokes which we think are funny but actually not very funny. But anyway, uh, at the same time, do follow us on our socials as well. Uh, we are on. We are on Twitter at Crossbone VGS. We are on Facebook at Crossbone Vanguards and our blog at Crossbone Vanguards well, WordPress.com. So there you'll see uh, things that are not found in this video, things like deck profiles, event coverages, and so on and so forth. And of course, we have a Patreon page as well. So if you feel that you want to give us more support uh, than you're already giving, so uh, you can go over and check it out and see what perks we have for you. And you can pledge some money for us and we will give you back. Um, we really want to thank you for supporting us. So the Patreon page is just as much as it is for you as it is for us so go over and check it out and see what other cool things that you have uh, that have we have in store for you and as such thank you all for watching while I've tried to find more companions to to, to pull into the Bermuda Triangle <laughs> so in the meantime thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye